Hello everyone, I am Vina Gandhi. Welcome you all again in second part of the control statements in a C. In this video you will learn iterative on looping statements. The topics covered in this video are what do you mean by iterative statements or looping statements? Then types of iterative statements. In that you will learn while loop, do while loop and for loop. After that you will learn nested loops. In example using C program. Then comparison between while loop and do while loop. And assignment on above topics. Now first we will learn what do you mean by iterative statements. Now iteration is the process where set of instructions or set of statements is executed repeatedly for specified number of time or some condition is satisfied. These statements alter the control flow of the program thus can be classified as a control statements in a C. Now iteration statements are commonly known as loops in a C. Now types of iterative statements. There are two types of iterative statements, entry control and exit control. It is also known as stop tested loop or bottom tested loop. Entry control loop is divided into two parts, for loop and while loop. Exit control loop is divided into while loop. Types of iterative statements. Now as you know, there are two types of loops in a C programming. First entry control loop and exit control loop. Now in entry control loop is also known as top tested loop or pre tested loop. As the name suggests in entry control loop, test condition is checked before the entry in the main body of the loop. This first condition is checked. If the condition is true, then the body of the loop will be executed. For example, for loop and while loop are the example of the entry control loop. Second is exit control loop. As name suggests, in exit control loop, the test condition is evaluated at the end of the body, body of the loop. Means first loop uh, statements in the uh, loop will be executed and then condition is checked. The loop body will be executed at least once, irrespective of whether the condition is true or false. Means if the condition is false, still the body will be executed. Example of this is do while loop. It is also known as bottom tested loop or post tested loop. Now first we will see an entry control loop and it's a while loop. In a while loop, a condition is checked first before entering the body of the loop. If condition is true, then, then and then only body of the loop will be executed. Syntax. First, to initialize some expression which is involved in the test, test condition. In Y, in round bracket, test condition. Then in opening and curly braces, you can write the body of the loop statements of, statement in the C programming and then update the expression. Let's see in more detail using flowchart. First, initialize the statement. Then check the condition first. If condition is true, then body of the statement will be executed. And then again you check the condition. This loop will be pro this loop will be executed till this condition falls. When condition is false, loop will be terminated and it will stop the program. Let us see C, uh, C program. Now here in main function, we define the variable num of type integer and initialize the value with the 1. So num equal to 1. Now in while loop while num is less than equal to 10. This, if number is less than equal to 10, if it is true then the body of the loop will be executed. It will print the word printed percent d backslash n num. After that this num is updated. Num equal to num plus 1. So num will become 2. Again it will check the condition. 2 is less than equal to 10 if true and again body of the loop will be executed. Again 3. 
So this will continue till the num becomes L1. When when num becomes L1, condition fails. So loop will be terminated here. So this program prints the uh, one to ten numbers. Next is a do while loop. The do while loop is used to repeat uh, some part of the code till some condition is satisfied. It is also known as exit control loop or bottom tested loop or post tested loop. Where the test condition is checked after the executing the body of the loop. Due to this, the statement in the do while loop will be always executed at least once no matter what the condition is, what the condition is. A syntax to the body of the loop, after that check the condition, so while condition, here semicolon is given after the do while loop. In while loop there is a, uh, in while loop after the condition there is no semicolon, but in do while loop there is a semicolon after the uh, while loop, after the while condition. This in do while loop, First, the body of the uh, statement will be executed. Then, condition will be checked at the end of the body. If it is true, then again, body of the loop will be executed. If it is false, then loop will be terminated. Let us see in the flowchart in more detail. First, in flowchart, you, uh, you can see the body of the loop is first executed. And at the, bo at the bottom, you test the expression. If it is true, then again, body will be executed. If it is false, then a uh, uh, loop will be terminated. Let us see C program using do while loop. In the main function, declare a variable num of type int having value 1. Now here, we want to print the table of 2 here. So using do while loop. So do, in the body of the do, uh, do, do while loop, Print a percent D backslash 2 into num. So num value is 1. So 2 into 1, 2. After that, num is incremented by 1. So num becomes 2. Then at the end, check the condition while 2 is less than equal to 10. If it is true, yes, true. So again, body of the loop will be executed. Print a back percent D backslash 2 into 2, 4. So, 4 will be printed again, num will be incremented by 1 num equal to num plus 1. If we don't increment this num, then this num value become, uh, remains 1 only and this loop will be executed infinite number of times. So, you have to update the num value so that it can uh, somewhere in, in the point of the program, condition should fail and loop will be terminated. A loop should terminate it. So, these 3 is less than equal to 10 like that. Again, it will go to into the, in the loop, it will print 6 and so on. Now, when this num becomes 11, at that time, this loop will be what terminated. So, in do while loop, at least body of the loop will be executed at least once, whatever the condition may be. If condition fails, fails still it is executed at least one. Let us see some programs using while loop and do while loop. A first program, program to find sum of first n natural numbers using while loop. Now for that, suppose for example, we want to find 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And we want to display sum of these 5 numbers. So for that, we require how many terms you want. Means five, first 5 terms. Sum of first 5 terms. Then we require sum to store the sum of first and natural numbers and we require one uh, loop control variable which keeps track of these five terms. So first include the std error file then define the main function inside the main function you define three variables n for number of terms i for looping control variable and sum equal to zero for to store the sum of n natural numbers. After that Enter a positive number, accept the n terms first, so scan a percent d and percent n. Now we want to add first 5 numbers, the first 5 terms. So uh, I will be start from the 1. So initialize the loop control variable to 1. Now check the condition while i is less than equal to n. So 
we want first five terms so n so i will go from 1 to n so i is less than equal to n now add that i into some variable so here i have used the short term shorthand assignment operator sum plus equal to i meaning of this is sum equal to sum plus i then update the expression so increment the look at the variable i so i plus plus again check the condition here now i becomes 2 here so 2 less than equal to n if it is true again i will be added into sum so this loop will be continued till i i, I value becomes n after that you print the sum of first percent d numbers equal to percent d first percent d will replace by the value of n and second percent d will be replaced by the value of sum and return 0 now run this program suppose we want to enter first 5 terms sum of first 5 numbers is 50 so 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 50 let us see other program to find sum of digits using do while loop now in last videos i have already explained the algorithm and flowchart for this problem now what is the logic for this uh, to find sum of digit is divide the number by 10 now whatever the remainder is there add that remainder in a sum again divide the quotient by 10 whatever the remainder is remaining again add that remainder into what sum this process will continue till that number becomes 0 the same lo same logic we will write in a c code first include hash include stdio.h for printable and scanner function are defined in this file so we include this header of file then define the function uh, function main in main function we define the variables number reminder and sum equal to 0 then in print type you write which enter any number then read that number using scanf function scanf percent d and percent number now we will write two while loop to divide and uh, add the sum into reminder uh, add the reminder into sum so do first reminder equal to number mod 10 whatever reminder is uh, remaining we add, we store in a reminder variable then add that reminder into sum so sum equal to sum plus reminder again divide that number by 10 so whatever the quotient is there again store that quotient into number variable and then check the condition why number is written by 0 this person will repeat it till number becomes 0 after that print a backslash n sum of digit of a given number equal to percent d and sum I, I have already run the program please enter any number so number is 45 and the sum of digit of given number is 9 now let us run again program suppose if I enter 78 the sum of digit will be 15 Till now we have seen while loop and do while loop. It's entry control and exit control. For both the loops, we require the initialized expression. Then we require the test condition to be evaluated, and then we require the update the expression or update the loop control variable. But the, these three parts required for any type of loop is combined in one statement in a for loop. That's why for loop is more popular loop and mostly mostly used by every programmer. So for loop is the most commonly used entry control loop. The center of the for loop is for in round bracket. We can specify three uh, statements here: initialization of the loop control variable, a semicolon, then test condition, after that semicolon, and then update the expression. And close the round bracket and inside the opening and curly braces you can write the body of the loop so you can see here in the uh, flowchart first initialization the expression initialize the control variable loop variable you can say then test the expression in test expression loop variable is there so again if it is true 
then execute the for loop body and update the expression and then again test the condition. Now when it fails, the for loop will be terminated. Let us see C program to print the first 10 numbers. In main function, declare a variable number equal to id type. Now in the while loop or do while loop, first we initialize the number. Now in a for loop, in a one sentence, you can initialize, uh, declare a condition and update the expression. So for in down bracket number equal to 1, then condition number is less than equal to 10. If it is true, it will come inside the loop. So print a percent D backslash n number, we print the number. After that, it will update the expression, this number plus plus. It will become now 2. Again check. 2 is then equal to 10. Yes, true. So again it will come inside the loop. It will print that number and again update the expression. So first part will be initialization. Second, check the condition. If it is true, then execute the body of the loop. After that, you increment the uh, loop variable. It is number plus plus. Now here, uh, in for loop, update expression can be increment or, dec uh, or decrement depending on the program condition. So using for loop number of uh, lines of code is also decrease. That's why for loop is more popular because it contains all three parts in the one expression or one, or one statement. Next topic is nesting loops. C supports nesting of loops. Nesting of loop means you can embed one loop inside another loop. So nesting of loops is a feature in a C it allows the enclosing of one looping control structure inside our looping control structure. Now you can define any type of loop inside our loop. For example, you can define while loop inside a for loop. Now this nesting may continue up to every desired levels, but NCC supports up to 15 levels of nesting. General syntax of nested loop is outer loop start first. Then inside the outer, uh, uh, outer loop, you can enclose the inner loop. The inner loop will be completely executed. Then some statements of the outer loop will be executed. And then you can close the outer loop. Let's see example of nested for loops. Now here, in outer loop, initialize the counter of 1. You can see in the project also. You can initialize the counter of 1. Then test the condition of 1. So here initialize the counter, test the condition 1. If the condition 1 is true, it will come inside the inner loop. So again it will come here inside the for loop. So you can initialize the counter 2 and again check the condition 2. If it is true, then inner loop will be executed. And then inner statement will be executed and then increment the or decrement the counter of the inner for loop. Again test the condition. Again if it is true, again, a statement will be executed. And then again, increment the counter or decrement the counter. Now, if when test condition 2 fails, at that time, inner loop will be completely uh, terminated. And then, outer statement will be executed. And then, increment the counter or decrement the counter of the outer loop. Again, test the condition of the outer loop. If it is true, and again, inner loop will be started. Again, it says the counter, then test the condition, and then execute the statement of inner loop, and then increment or decrement the counter. So, first, completely inner loop will be executed, and then it will update the uh, counter of the outer loop. Same here, express in a flow chart. For condition of one is true, we check. If it is true, then check the condition of inner loop. If it is true, then inner statement will be executed and then update the counter of the word inner loop. If condition 2 fails, then it will update the counter of the uh, outer loop. Let us see C program using nested for loops. Now you can see here, if you want to print uh, a pattern of stars like this, means here in the, uh, it asks number of lines. Uh, for this task, then on first line it print the first star, on second line it print the two stars, on third line it print the th three stars. So you, you, we want to print this pattern. 
So for this we require a nested loop. Why? Because one loop we uh, one loop will require to keep number of lines track, and one loop will require to print number of stars on each line. So here we define two for loops. Let's see C program for this. In main function we define the uh, variables i, j, which are the control variables, loop control variables, and for number of lines. So first you ask how many number of lines you want, and read that number by using scanf, scanf percent d and percent n. After that, now first outer loop is i, i equal to one, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. Now this outer loop keeps track of number of lines, so i less than equal to n, so it keeps track of number of lines. Now inside the, this uh, uh, outer loop, we add the inner loop, which keeps track of stars on each line. So for j equal to one, j less than equal to i. Why i? Because when i is one, star is one. When i is two, means on line number two there are two stars. So j will be go from one to i, and after that j plus plus. Inside the j loop, we add the printf star. So first, completely uh, this j loop will be executed. Uh, inner loop will be executed. Then update the uh, update the counter of i i plus plus. After now, after the when inner loop fails, it gives a new line. So we want each star on new line. Then after that, i plus plus will be there. Again, check the condition i less than n. If it is true, again uh, inside loop will be started for printing the stars. Let us see some programs on for loop and nested loop. Now to find the factorial of a number. Using for loop. Now in factorial, we find the product of the number less than equal to that number. Suppose if we if we want to find five factorial, so in factorial, five into four into three into two into one. Means we using factorial we multiply all the numbers less than equal to that given number. Let us see C program. First include the header file hash include stdio dot h in the main function, define the variables i, fact, and number. A number is which we want to find factorial. The fact stores the product of that number below it, and I will keep. I will go from one to that number. So one, two, three, four, up to that number. So first, printf into a number, then scanf percent d and percent number. So read that number. Now in for loop. First, initialize the loop control variable i equal to what number? If we want to go suppose number is five, so five four three two one. So I initialize with the five. Add the one equal to one because I, I will go from five to one. Five four three two one like that. Now inside the loop, you multiply fact equal to fact into i. We want to find product, so fact equal to fact into i. Now here is only one statement, so you can avoid this opening and curly braces. But it's good practice to write the uh, opening and closing bracket. After that, you can decrement the i by one, so i equal to i minus minus. But this loop will be continued till i becomes the what one. After that, you print factorial of percent d is percent d. First percent d will replace by number, and second percent d replace by fact. Then return zero. Now I have already run the program. Enter number three. Factorial of number is then six. Again run the program. I enter five. So factorial of five is one twenty. Now C program on nested loop. Suppose if we, if we want to print flat triangle. Now first, what do you mean by flat triangle? The flat triangle is a right angle triangle that contains the consecutive natural numbers. But in right angle triangle, but in right angle, in flat triangle, the number starts with the one in the top left corner, and then it fills the consecutive. Then it fills the rows with consecutive numbers. For example, suppose if we have defined the five rows in flat triangle, it generates the following pattern. 
वन टू थ्री और थर्ड लाइन फोर फाइव सिक्स लाइक दैट सो वी रिक्वायर्ड हियर अ नेक्स्ट एड लूप नाउ वन लूप विल कीप ट्रैक ऑफ नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स एंड वन लूप विल कीप ट्रैक ऑफ ईच नंबर ऑन पर्टिकुलर लाइन सपोज हियर आउटर लूप विल कीप ट्रैक ऑफ नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स मीन्स हाउ मेनी लाइन्स हैव डन एंड इनर लूप विल कीप ट्रैक ऑफ प्रिंटिंग नंबर्स ऑन ईच लाइन the c c program for that a define uh, include the header file stdio.h in main define the variable number i j k equal to 1 one. one number is required to accept how many rows you want i will be looping control variable for outer loop j will be inner control variable loop and k will be we generate the number 1 2 3 consecutive manner now first print enter number to define the rows in flat triangle and read that number so scan and percent d and percent n now in outer loop we want to keep track of number of rows so for i equal to 1 i less than equal to num i plus plus a define a inner loop which keep tracks of How many numbers on each line? So for j equal to one, j is less than equal to i because j will go from suppose uh, on first line there is only one number, on second line there there are two numbers, on third line there are three numbers. So uh, j will go from one to i. Printed percent d percent two d k plus plus. So here k will be one two three. It will consecutively increase the number. After inner loop will be completed, then give the new line for uh, each new row in a flat triangle. So this loop will be continue till I becomes the word five. So I have already run the program here. Enter number to define the rows in a flat triangle. So I entered here three. It generates the pattern like this. Now again run the program. If I define five. generates the pattern like this i hope you must understood the now looping concept let us see difference between while loop and do while loop now first we'll discuss the syntax of while and do while loop so the form of while loop is while condition inside the opening and closing bracket we add the statements in do while loop it starts with do in opening and closing body After that, we add the condition while and condition and give semicolon after that. In while loop, there is no semicolon. In do while loop, there is semicolon. Now, in while loop, controlling condition appears at the start of the loop. In do while loop, uh, controlling condition appears at the end of the loop. Now, iteration will not occur if the condition at the starting appears to be false. Now, in do while loop, the iteration at least occurs once, even if the condition is false at the first iteration. The main feature of the while loop is it is an entry control loop or top tested uh, loop. The main feature of the do while loop is what it is exit control loop or bottom tested loop. The assignment on these topics: What are the types of iterative statements? Explain the while loop with example. Write a short a short note on do while loop with example. Discuss the for loop with example. Then differentiate between while loop and do while loop. What is the next eight loops? Now I hope you must understood the looping control structures. If you like this video, please share and subscribe the college YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.